God bless you all. This is Worldwide Evangelism. Worldwide Evangelism. I am Darren Moore. Welcome, welcome, welcome again. God is good. He's doing great things in the land, in the earth, and we just are just grateful of what God is doing. Today I'm coming to you um, from the book of John, chapter 2, talking about, um, talking about uh, filling jars. Filling jars. Jesus changing, changing water into wine and fill in jar, jars. Okay, uh, let's kick it right off with John chapter uh, chapter 2. On the third day, a wedding a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. Jesus' mother was there. Now, I was reading this the other night, I'm telling you. I was reading this the other night, you know, trying to pull a sermon out of this. And I got the verse 7 and verse 8. This is, I'm in the NIV too. I got the verse seven and verse eight, and the Lord said to me, you reading of me, you reading of me, but you don't know me. Y'all didn't mess me up. He said, you reading about me, and you, but, but you don't know me. I said, oh, Lord, so I had, to, I, had to, I had to reflect back, I had to do a tape. I said, oh, I said, oh boy. So, so, he, he said, now go back and read, go back and read it again. Cause you know, I was already reading, going through it. And he, he said, you, you know of me, but you don't know me. People of God, it's time for us to know the Lord like never before. It's time for us to know Jesus Christ like never before. It's one thing to read about, read the book about him, but it's another thing to have an encounter and to have the Lord to speak to us. Then he said, go back and read it again. Then I started reading. Then I started reading. Then I started reading. On the third day, a wedding took place at Cana in Galilee. And he said, he and he said, wind's blowing. And he said, uh, he, he said, look, he said, look at the numbers. I said, okay. I said, okay, three. On the third day, three. He said, yes, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He said, you, we ha you have the Holy Spirit in you. People have the Holy Spirit in them, but they don't have me or, or, the, or, my, or the Father. He said, they don't have me or the Father, some of them. Some of them don't have me or the Father, and we don't know him, him or the Father. We only know of what we read, but when we have the Holy Spirit down in us. Yes, it's all the three in one, but the Holy Spirit is one in itself as well. And Jesus, you know, we can't just have the Holy Spirit within us and don't know Jesus and not have a relationship with him. It's a total difference. They're all one in the same, but we can't just have the Holy Spirit without Jesus Christ, without uh, knowing him intimately. This chapter, this, this story is not about a wedding in Canaan, Galilee, and it's not about water and wine. This, um, this story is about having a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. When he showed me this, it messed me up. He said, you reading of me and about me, but you don't know me. Okay? Uh, okay, Jesus' mother was there, and Jesus and his, and his disciples had also been invited to the wedding. Okay, when the wine was gone, Jesus' mother said to him, Jesus' mother said to him, they have no more wine. And, and the Lord said to me, you know, during that time, my mother knew me as her, her son, Jesus, you know, Jesus the son, Jesus that can do miracles. Jesus the son, and, and uh, that, you know, that's my son, and he can do miracles. But even she, remember when he was teaching the disciples and she called for him? Remember that? She called for him outside. Out, out. And he said, those, he said, those, uh, my brothers and sisters, is those that uh, love the Lord and believe and follow his commands and believe in him. And he kept right on teaching. So she wanted to, him to do miracles. You know, that's my son. He can do miracles. But um, knowing him, it was different. She didn't follow him like the disciples did. Think about it. And, and, it's, and, and it, so now he speaks, dear woman, why do you involve me? 
She only came in for him to do miracles. And, and just, just, just to say that, oh, that's my son. That's my son. He, he can help. He can help. But she didn't want to follow him. Uh, Jesus replied, my time, he told her, my time has not yet come. So, so she was pulling on him to do something. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Nearby stood six stone, stone water jars, the, the kind used by the Jews for ceremonial washing, each holding from 20 to 30 gallons. Okay, so now we have these stone jars. These stone jars. So today the Lord, uh, each, each one could hold 30 gallons of water, each one. So God wants to fill your jars. He wants to fill your jars with his presence, his power, and his anointing. He wants to fill your jars, jars full. Uh, verse 7, Jesus said to the servants, fill the jars with water. So they filled them to the brim. They filled them all the way up. Then he told them, now draw some out and take it to the master of the banquet. See, the master of the banquet was over the whole wedding. So if Jesus could get the water, the, which turned into wine, the blood, the blood, this is the key key, key, key to this whole story. If he can get the blood, um, the wine representing his blood to the master ceremony, he will give it to everybody. This was symbolic of drinking of the blood. And Jesus whole, he said, you know, my whole desire when I did this was to give it to the master of ceremony, was for him to be changed. Jesus wanted the master of ceremony, whoever the man was, Jesus wanted him saved, his life saved. Jesus wanted him to be to give his life to uh, his soul, to, to him to be born again, to give his life to God right then. And not only him, everybody that was there, he want, it was a demonstration he used. He did it to save them all, to let them know that, listen, this is, this is, this is, remember when he said, um, break it, this is my body which is broken for you. And then he said, drink, this is my blood that was shed for you. That was his blood, a representation of his blood being shed. And he wanted all of them to get saved, but they, 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 they looked right over it. They wasn't looking at it spiritually. They looked right over it. And they just looked at it as wine. Don't look at light. Uh, don't look at the Lord Jesus Christ as, as just wine. Don't look at him as just a, you know, just, just the Holy Spirit alone. Look at him as the one that died on the cross, shed and, bl and bled, thorns in the head, thorns, was, it was uh, the crown of thorns in the head, blood coming from that, pierced on the side, whipped and whipped and whipped for you and your sins. Don't take it lightly. It's not just wine. It represents the blood. It represents the blood. Okay, uh, John 2. And then it goes on down. They did so, verse, verse 9, and the master of the banquet tasted the water that had been turned into wine. He did not realize where it had come from. He didn't realize that it was the blood either, though the servants who had drawn the water knew. Then they called the bridegroom aside and said, everyone bring, uh, everyone bring out the choice wine, brings out the choice wine first, and then the cheaper wine after the guests have had too much to drink. But you have saved the best till now. He saved the best till now. He gave them the best. He gave them the best. When you give your Lord life to the Lord Jesus Christ, he gives you his best. Absolute best. The world cannot give you the best. The world can't give you the best. But the Lord Jesus Christ will give you the best. He won't taint it. He won't taint nothing. He'll give you the best of him. This, uh, the first of his miraculous signs. Jesus performed at Cana in Galilee. He thus revealed his glory. He revealed his glory and his disciples put their faith in him. I wanted to give y'all that today and let y'all know that and let you all know. Put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. The, it was the blood that he shed. It wasn't about the water. It wasn't about the wine, but it was all about the blood and his desire for, for us all to be saved totally fully if you are not saved you want to give your life to the lord jesus christ you say listen the water and the wine and all that was good the wedding was good whoever that person was but uh, uh, the fact that he shed that that represented his blood and he died and shed blood for us 
I'm going to give my life to Jesus on today. Give your life to him today, according to Romans 10, 8, 9, uh, chapter 10, 8, 9, and 10 verse. Uh, I say, Lord, I believe you died on the cross and rose for me in my sins. I made some mistakes, but I'm ready. I've been putting it off and putting it off. Now I'm ready. Uh, I believe you died on the cross and rose again for me in my sins. Fill me with your Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. I believe in you. Fill my heart with, and uh, I want to be born again on today in Jesus' name. If you said that simple prayer, amen. The angels are rejoicing. Heaven is rejoicing. And God welcomes you in total everything new he said the, he had the best god gives us the best there's no way to god but through but by jesus christ alone he said no one comes to the father but by me but through me so uh, on today know that your jaws are full your jaws are full god is filling you i speak in decree and declare right now he's speaking he, he's filling you with uh or love joy peace all the fruits of the spirit his powers his gifts that he wants to give you to uh, be used in the king in the kingdom of god in the mighty name of jesus receive it receive it receive it on today don't uh, fall victim to the hands of the enemy walk in boldness walk in confidence in god and watch him fill your jaws keep your jaws full keep your jaws full you do that by praying and reading god's word Keep it full by praying and reading God's word in Jesus' name. This is Darren Moore. Until next time, thank y'all and God bless y'all and love everybody. Until next time, we'll be back with Worldwide Evangelism.